Yo guys, look how delicious this burger looks. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Momo Lamont and I am here at Smorgasburg in Prospect Park. Now today I'm just gonna be a little bit different. This isn't your normal vegan market pop-up or fest, but the great thing is that if you are vegan and you are with a couple of friends, you can actually come and enjoy this because there's vegan options. The most amazing vegan food, vegan options that Smorgasburg has to offer. Let's go. Whatever you got in your uh, mental. Remember that idea, the diamond, just put it out, make it come to fruition. balances it out so well and then of course you have the crispy mushroom bacon that it's super crispy to the taste and it actually tastes like bacon guys now the secret ingredient i'll tell you guys what it is it's actually liquid smoke if ever you want to make your vegetables taste like bacon liquid smoke is the secret ingredient mm. Now the price for this, it came out to $11. The sandwich is pretty big and it's definitely satisfying. So guys, if you're ever in Smorgasburg, make sure to check out ATM Vegan Tummy. Wow, this is really good. So I'm gonna finish this off and then we're gonna go try some other vegan vendors or some other vendors that have vegan options. Let's see what we get into. Tacos. It's not a vegan stand, but they have vegan options. 
so I'm about to get into this. Let's go. So I'm back and I'm ready to fry. Yo, I have, I, I, I'm ready to hit you with some salt, salt. We just sold out. <laughs> My whole heart has been broken. Yo, I can't believe that happened. Nice. Right? You're doing this to me? No, nice. I... It's okay because you know what? I'm going to come back. It's going to happen. It's okay. Alright guys, so unfortunately when we went to Wagwan, they didn't have the chickpea curry taco that I've been dying to try for so long, but it's okay. We're still gonna come back and we still gonna try it and we still gonna give it a review. So now I'm here at the Monk's Vegan Smokehouse and we're about to do some barbecue. Let's go. like it's crunchy but it's soft at the same time i'm not even sure if they cooked it or not but it tastes so good and then obviously the mayo gives it a little bit of juiciness and flavor the potato bun it's soft but i like it so this guys is from moss vegan smokehouse if you guys come to smoresburg you guys have a vegan stand you guys are a fan of barbecue like i am there you go you can never go wrong this actually came out to seven dollars. I definitely think it's worth it. It definitely exceeded my expectations, so I'm very happy. Let's go see what other things we can go. All right, guys. So we are here at the last and final place at Valentine Burger. It's only right to finish with a big, fat old juicy burger. Let's get into it. But you know I had okay. to save the best for last. Appreciate that. I'm gonna do the classic bacon cheeseburger. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited for this. Yeah. 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 The root beer syrup we made um, in house, and that sarsaparilla. Sarsaparilla, oh exactly. To make it sarsaparilla, uh, sassafras, cherry bar, licorice root, oh winter cream. Now, I don't know what the special sauce is, but hopefully it's that special. 
and they also gifted me with fresh root beer as well as a blueberry lemonade. I already tasted the root beer and it was absolutely amazing, super light, super fresh. You can taste all the natural parts and roots that it has in it. Now, this is a blueberry lemonade, fresh lemon, fresh blueberry puree and seltzer water. That's pretty good. You can actually taste the blueberry, you can taste the lemon, and those two combined, it's nothing but freshness. Now here, guys, we have our burger, as well as fries. Yes, guys, potatoes are meat. Mm. Crispy, soft on the inside. And I think they add finishing salt to the fries. But without further ado, let's get into this burger. Yo guys, look how delicious this burger looks. I'm about to go in. That was a really big bite. So the burger bun isn't toasted, but it's very soft. The burger, very tender, very juicy. It has pickles inside. Personally, I like pickles in my burger, I like pickles in my sandwiches, but it's very crispy, so it adds an extra crisp to it. Fresh lettuce, fresh sliced tomato. The cheese obviously gives it the right element. And then you have the crispy mushroom bacon that also gives it a nice crisp to it. This burger would have cost me $11, the fries would have cost me five, and the drinks would probably be four to five dollars a piece. They blessed me, very grateful. And I'm very happy that I actually got this because this is so good, guys. This time, they actually had three vegan vendors, which is absolutely great. So when you come with your friends, whether they're vegan or not, you can actually have something for yourself. And if they want to, they can actually try it too because it's really, really good. This is something that's considered to be a very popular item in the standard American diet. And with a vegan burger that actually tastes like a regular burger, you can never go wrong. Everything was amazing at Valentine Burger Company. Make sure you guys check them out, support, and get yourself a burger that tastes absolutely delicious. All right, guys, well, there you have it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I came to Smorgasburg in Prospect Park. They have this every Sunday, so make sure you guys come check it out. It's your girl, Momo Dumont. Thank you again for joining me on another episode of Based on a True Plant. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Comment, like, share, you know, tell a friend to tell a friend. I'm out. Peace, love, and life.